Well, while you may not have it, chances are you know someone who does. It's diabetes, a costly disease affecting seven people out of every 100. And what used to be thought of as a disease of just senior adults is now showing up among those age 40 and below. It's an epidemic that's affecting lives across our state. Mealtimes can be a bit painful for Reed Lineman. Reed tests his blood sugar between five and 10 times a day. Then just as often administers insulin via syringe. A daily routine since being diagnosed as a diabetic at age 21. Diabetes was something that was the furthest thing from my mind. Um, you see commercials about people with diabetes on TV and it's all Wilford Brimley and uh, talking about Medicare, Medicaid, and orthopedic shoes, you don't think about it when you're 20 years old, that it could be something that you have to deal with. But he does. From the multiple injections to some significant lifestyle changes, Reed's diabetes impacts his entire life, from what he eats, to what he does, to his plans for the future. I had a huge lifestyle change. Um, before I found out I was diabetic, um, I would eat whatever I wanted to, whenever I wanted to. Um, I did never concern myself with exercise or sports or activities or anything like that. And um, overnight, I had to completely stop eating uh, heavily carbohydrated foods. Reed's replaced his fast food habits with healthier fare, but it hasn't been easy. My favorite foods my entire life have been french fries, hamburgers, tacos, you know, just carbohydrates after carbohydrates after carbohydrates. I had to start eating uh, things like salads. And such challenges are common in a diabetic patient. Vicki Carney is a diabetes educator at Tulsa's Warren Clinic. It affects most people very dramatically. Um, most people go through all four, five stages of grief. And such a realization is often hard. But when a diabetic ignores the disease and doesn't change their lifestyle, the consequences can be severe. If blood sugars are in poor control, diabetes can affect every aspect of your body. Diabetes is the leading cause of blindness. It's the leading cause of um, peripheral neuropathy. Uh, diabetes is the leading cause of uh, kidney failure in the United States. But to control diabetes, you first must know you have it. And what statistics show is that of every thousand people in the United States, 70 are diabetic. But even more alarming, of that 70, one in three don't realize they have the disease. It's tremendously underdiagnosed. We, um, we think that there are approximately 200,000 people that have diabetes and yet uh, there's another third of that total number that are underdiagnosed. Now if that many people are sick and don't even know it, that has to have a tremendous impact on our economy. Imagine spending um, thousands of dollars a year on physician visits, uh, medications, blood sugar testing, and then the complications get extremely expensive. Um, amputations, people balk at joining a gym, for example, and if they would just invest money in their health right now, if they would invest in a gym membership or invest in a good pair of tennis shoes or invest in higher cost, uh, higher priced food items, then they would uh, actually, in the long run, save money. And Reed is one of the lucky ones if you can say that for a diabetic. For now, he has his diabetes under control, but he knows it will be a lifelong struggle. I remember when I, when I first got diagnosed, the first thought that came into my mind was, I'm only 21, 22 years old, and I'm already dying. The scariest thing about this disease to me is the threat of losing my eyesight, uh, losing limbs, losing appendages. Uh, having nerve damage, um, all these things that kind of can take away from the life I've got left. 